Hey crafters, welcome back to my channel, Crochet with Zara and welcome to the episode 14 of How to Crochet Granny Square series. Today we are diving into a wonderful world of granny squares with a twist, the half granny square. Perfect for blankets, pillow covers or coasters, this versatile design is a must known for any crocheter. So grab your yarn and hook and let's get started into a wonderful granny square project. For this half granny square, I am going to use a 3 ply yarn. You can use any size of yarn or any size of hook. In this tutorial, I am just going to show you how to create this half granny square. And a hook of 3 mm, a weaving needle for hiding the tail and a scissor. Now just take the tail end on the left hand and the working yarn on the right hand and wrap the working yarn around your left hand fingers in such a way that it makes an X. Now insert the 3 mm hook under the bottom yarn and pull up the upper yarn and twist the hook to make a loop. Now chain 1 from the working yarn. This makes over magic circle. Take out your fingers and you can see a circle. Now chain 3. 1. I have already made chain 1, 2 and yet 3 and 4. Now chain 3 as over double crochet and chain 1 as chain 1 space. Now yarn over and Insert the hook into the magic circle and pull up the loop. Now you should have three loops on the hook. Yawn over, pull through two loops, yawn over, pull through two loops. Now work two more double crochets into the same. One, two, yawn over and one more. Now you can see. After chain 1 space, we have 3 double crochets. This 3 double crochets or cluster of 3 double crochets is usually called granny stitch. Now chain 1 as a as over corner and 3 more double crochets into the same magic circle. Two and Now one more granny stitch into the same magic circle. Now chain 1 and double crochet into the magic circle. Now pull the tail end to close the circle. Now you can see a triangle. Chain 1, sorry chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and turn. Now yarn over and work 3 double crochets or a granny stitch into this chain 1 space 1 2 3 now as I have described you earlier this chain 1 between 2 granny stitches works as a corner now yawn over and work a granny stitch into this chain 1 space 1 2 and 3 now as i as i have described you this chain 1 as a corner so we have to increase in the corner always in every round now chain 1 and work an other granny stitch into the same chain 1 space 1 2 3 Now, into the last, this chain 1 space, we have to work an other granny stitch. 1, 2, and 3. Now, to end this round, we have to chain 1 and one more, gran one more double crochets into the same chain 1 space. Now, turn your work. Now, for the round 3, work chain 4, 1. 2, 3, 4. Chain 3 as a double crochet and chain 1 as a chain 1 space. Now yawn over and work a granny stitch into this chain 1 space. 1, 2, and 3. Now yawn over and work a granny stitch into this space between two granny stitches. 
वन टू एंड थ्री नाउ अगेन वी हैव रीच एट ओवर कॉर्नर सो यॉन ओवर एंड वर्क अ ग्रैनी स्टिच वन टू एंड थ्री नाउ चेन वन एंड वर्क एंड अदर ग्रैनी स्टिच एज एज वी हैव टू इंक्रीज इन ओवर कॉर्नर वन टू एंड थ्री now yarn over and work an other granny stitch into this space between the granny stitches 1 2 and 3 now again into the last chain one space work a granny stitch 2 and 3 now chain one and work a double crochet into the same chain one space now turn your work and we are going to start over round number 4 now work chain 4 1 2 3 4 three, chain 3 as a double crochet and chain 1 as a chain one space yarn over and work a granny stitch into this chain one space 1 2 now work a granny stitch into the space between the granny stitches from the previous round or row 1 2 and 3 now yarn over and work a granny stitch 1 2 and 3 now again into the corner work two granny stitches with a chain one in between 1 2 and 3 chain one and work a uh, and other granny stitch 1 2 3 now work granny stitches into the space between the granny stitches 1 2 3 now another granny stitch 1 2 and 3 now into the last chain one space work a granny stitch 1 2 3 now chain one and work a double crochet into the same chain one space now turn your work now we are going to work over last round chain 4 1 2 3 4 now yarn over and work a granny stitch into the space 1 2 3 now yarn over work a granny stitch into the space between granny stitch 1 2 and 3 now work an other granny stitch 1 2 3 now work another granny stitch 1 2 3 now into the corner work two granny stitches with a chain one in between chain one one and 1 2 now follow the same stitch pattern now into the last chain one space work a granny stitch 1 2 and 
chain 1 and work a double crochet now chain 1 and cut off your yarn You can see a half square. Now hide the tails using weaving needle. Thanks for joining me on this crochet journey. You have now mastered the half granny square, opening doors to the endless creative possibilities. Share your finished project into the comments below or tag me on social media at the word crochet with Zara. Don't forget to subscribe for more crochet tutorials, patterns and inspirations. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Happy hooking and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then take good care of yourselves. Bye bye.